Good morning, young people. Good morning. We want to talk to you because you're the future of this country. The college has given us the opportunity to talk to you and work with you on something which possibly will help us see what we should be doing with the future. As you remember, you missed out one class during the examination and you missed another class on the 9th of November because that was my birthday and the government gave it a holiday. So we have to have compensate for that and colleagues come up with a very wonderful system where we work with you, give you an assignment and on the basis of their assignment, you'll not only be graded but you will also receive your attendance for that particular day that you missed the class. Today, I want to talk to you about basically leadership. Why do I want to talk to you about leadership? Because I'm very strongly a believer that the lead, it's the leadership that decides the future of a nation or a future of any organization. We've had an organization like your particular university, which was once a very small little college called, called the College of Business Management and just with a few students. Here, it was the leadership of late Mr. Shah Jahan Kareem that let people to come in and join hands to make it what today it is a success story, a university with something like over 6,000 students. Now, how it has grown? It has grown because Kajan Kareem inspired the people. Kajan Kareem came up with a vision and he came up with a purpose and people joined hands and even including people like me, I joined hands in something like 24 years ago. And still, I have a great passion of working on this. It's because I see that this is getting somewhere. It's a vision that can lead us to a better world, a better being. If we can successfully help you develop into leaders, then it will be a much better country. Pakistan, unfortunately, for a very long time, has suffered with either, you may say, the lack of leadership, or maybe I would say total absence of leadership. Please understand that leadership is not about just making speeches. It's not about being liked. It is not about being loved. It's not anything like that. Leadership is all about getting the results. You understand? If you're not getting the results, you're not a leader. For the leadership, there has to be a purpose. And the purpose has to be converted into a mission. And obviously, if the results don't come in, you will not be a leader. It does not matter what your style of leadership is. As I said, there, we've had leaders in this country who were very highly charismatic, highly charismatic, yet has the country grown and developed. Their charisma was there. And, you know, they had a following. Even the last prime minister, Mr. Imran Khan, he had a great following with the young people. And even today, as one would say, his, you know, leadership or whatever it may be there, but he, there's at least a great deal of following. And his popularity is at peak at this moment, irrespective of him being in a jail or something. But you tell me, as a leader, what has Imran Khan achieved? Three and a half years, he was in power. What, what did we get out of it? Did were we able to successful in getting rid of the 
debts, the loans, no, the loans increased. Was there an increase in poverty? Was there a decrease in poverty? Did we get to a level of economy where there was a clear-cut growth of economy? Look at, look at the results that came in. They're hardly negligible. With the total support of establishment and everything, he was not able to get thing, anything. So I don't think that I would say that in Imran Khan we had leadership. However, I believe that young people like you, we want your suggestions. And in today's assignment, you're going to be watching one video which is on transformational leadership. And you will also read an article which is from the Harvard Business Review, which is on the purpose of leadership. After watching the video on transformational leadership, what you're going to do is you're going to pick up the four core components of the transformational leadership as described in this particular video. You understand? And on that, acting as the dean of a university, you will come up with the plans how these four competencies will are demonstrated in the behavior of your leadership. Okay? It does not have to be too long. You could do it possibly in two typed pages on Microsoft or in Word. Then you will read this article, The Purpose of Leadership. Here, on based on this article, you will provide advice to the Pakistani leaders on how they can come up with the thing, how their leadership can be meaningful. What is the course that they should be taking? What the course that they should be taking to make this country a success? It's a beautiful country. It has everything. It has all the natural resources. It has agriculture. It has rivers. It has mountains. It has mining. It has a very large manpower as well. 250 million. And it is 250 million, I believe, I believe I've been told there's a 65% of that in the young population. There are countries like Japan who are suffering with the population, people dying. There, there aren't enough people. Japan is going world over trying to get people to come and work for them. In fact, the Japanese team came over to Pakistan some time back. And they wanted to recruit 3,000 IT personnel from Pakistan. 30,000 personnel from Pakistan. However, they gave the requirements of the IT that they require in a country. And touch wood, oh boy. How it happens to us, oh boy. We could only find two universities in our country who could produce or give that level of leadership, which would fit in to the IT requirement of Japan. They wanted 30,000 people every year. And we have two universities, only two universities, who come up to that particular level of IT requirements and the total student that they can produce in a year is 400. Pathetic, isn't it? But if people like you advise our leaders on the purpose of leadership, maybe in a few years, it will be a different story. We will be putting the resources in a better thing. Okay? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put up that video now on LMS, you will watch that video. And I'm also going to put up that article on LMS and you will be answering 
or as I said, doing the work, as I suggested, for the leaders of Pakistan. Thank you very much. I believe another thing that I have to tell you before I leave, there is obviously a time limit. This has to be completed within the seven-day period. If it is not completed within the seven-day period, you will leave a, lose attendance for that particular day and as well as the marks that you're supposed to get for the assignment, you will not be getting it. Thank you very much. Thank you. And as we always say, Pakistan, Zindabad, Pakistan, Zindabad.